This is Fox 25 News at 11. Fearing for their safety on the job, nurses saying that they're facing threats, even weapons, what they want the state to do to help. Earlier this month, Fox Undercover's Mike Bodette brought you the story of terrifying cases of violence inside the halls of the Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital. This whole story started with a tip. Dozens of employees at the psychiatric facility on disability because of patient attacks. And a lot of those nurses, they're feeling unsafe, threatened, under attack. Uh, these nurses in our local hospital Hospitals are speaking out tonight, telling state lawmakers that something needs to change so they feel safe on the job. Fox 25's Ted Daniel is here now. And Ted, one of the people who testified, she was a nurse at Brigham the day that shooting, that hospital shooting happened. Several of the people who testified today, Maria, come from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. It's considered one of the top health care facilities in the country. Workplace violence, an especially sensitive issue there because of that shooting. January 20th, an irate man, angry over his mother's death, took the life of a skilled cardiovascular surgeon at Brigham and Women's Hospital. The shooting raised concerns about security. Six months later, trauma nurse Trish Power says little has changed. Just this past weekend, two nurses were, so, were attacked by a patient. At a state house hearing, Powers, the chair of the union that represents Brigham nurses, cited a number of examples since Dr. Davidson's murder where she says staff have been threatened or harmed on the job. In one instance, she says a nurse tried to summon immediate help but couldn't. The nurse backpedaled to nursing desk in hopes of activating the panic button that would notify security silently and hopefully avoid escalating the man and notify security that there was a serious security event happening on the floor, only to find the panic button was non-functional. Longtime Brigham RN Liz Dalton told her own story. In April, she says a patient pulled a 10-inch knife on her. I felt faint. I was overcome with fear. I felt at that moment, if I didn't say the right thing, he was going to stab me. The testimony comes as lawmakers consider a bill, procedures, to protect employees from violence on the job. I believe with all my heart that this bill being passed... ...to protect employees from violence on the job. I believe with all my heart that this bill being passed will absolutely save lives. And that would be a win-win solution for us all. So this bill would mandate that the hospital work with the unions to create new security protocols. We did contact Brigham and Women's Hospital late this afternoon after the hearing had ended. A representative provided Fox 25 with a statement. It reads, the safety and security of our patients, their families, visitors, and staff is our top priority. We believe our safety programs meet or exceed all applicable standards. Live in our newsroom, Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News.